The next feature takes us to historic homes around Detroit, restored by the Detroit Land Bank Authority. We are in the fabulous Boston Addison Historic District in Detroit. This neighborhood is comprised of over 900 units, 36 blocks. It's one of the largest historic districts in the nation. And it's still intact, you know, it's still intact. You'd have to look really hard to find vacant lots in this neighborhood. And that is a gem in and of itself inside little old Detroit. The stories you always hear about are a whole um, everything is demolished, everything's vacant, there's nothing there, there's no there, there. Well, here's our there. So we wanted to preserve it. In this area, we rehab 13 homes, and you're looking at kind of two of them that we did and spent a significant investment in. That property was bought under a mortgage foreclosure, and this one was bought under tax foreclosure. So um, that's how we acquired all the properties. A lot of people are interested in how we came to acquire the assets that we did, and pretty much that's it. It was either a mortgage foreclosure or a tax foreclosure. This house in particular was actually fire damaged very badly to the extent that the whole first floor on this side of the house had collapsed into the basement. Families have a choice many choices to go outside of the city of Detroit to get larger homes, more elaborate homes, et cetera, in the suburbs. So we don't want to lose those folks, and actually we want to entice those folks that are in the suburbs to come back. The great way to do that is to save these properties that you can't rebuild them anymore. You're talking about million dollars plus to rebuild some of these properties. When I walk through and I see things like the dental molding, fabulous crown molding that's a foot long, you know, it just excites me because it's visually stunning. You can't get it anywhere else. We've actually sold all of our properties in this neighborhood, you know, so um, we brought in 13 new homeowners to this area. When we do this work, we want to create sustainable affordable housing. So not just earth friendly, but friendly on the operation side for the families. We supplied all of the properties with Energy Star qualified appliances. We have a couple units here where we installed a geothermal system. We reclaimed hardwood floors. Um, where we could, we kept the existing original wood windows. If we had to replace windows, we replaced with wood windows. So we looked at every component that we could and tried to make the smartest decision about the end user and um, whether or not that product was friendly to the earth. Because we think it all goes together. I mean, if you're going to preserve it, you can't just try to preserve it for today or this month. You've got to try to preserve it for the next hundred years so that this hundred year old asset continues to live on and continues to grow new generations and new families.